Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers coming at you from Beaver Bend State Park out of Broken Bow, uh, Oklahoma, and it is a part of the Washita National Forest. And I want to mention something about the Washita National Forest because that is one option for camping. However, as you just saw on that previous map, there are four entrances into the Beaver's Bend State Park, and we want to mention that because we turned in at the first one and we needed the third one, and it was a little bit confusing trying yes. to get to where we needed to be. But in that first entrance is where you're going to find some of the most beautiful RV sites. Yes, the acorn sites, absolutely wonderful. Some of them on the lake and some not. And we are finding out that the Oklahoma State Parks require reservations. Uh, At least for some sites. Yes, and <clears throat> in this particular park, every campground said do not occupy a site without a reservation. Yes. And so I uh, want to make you aware of that. But you can see these are gorgeous, and these are booked up a long way in advance. Yes. Um, there were sites available there when we were when we were at Beaver's Bend, but not for the nights we needed. We had right. looked kind of, and we weren't really sure what was the difference. When you're looking at the state park, you're going to see there are a number of different loops, and it's it's hard to understand the differences. And we took a look at all the loops all of the rv camping loops and a lot of the tent loops and we're going to be showing you those and kind of trying to give you an idea of what they look like but i do want to mention the washita national forest i did go in to the national park uh headquarters and talk to a ranger there and i asked about camping and she said this is federal land and you can uh the washita national the washita forest, national forest and she said about seven miles north of where we were standing, there are logging roads that you can actually even drive out in a car. And some fairly well-defined camping areas where people have set up fire rings, etc. But it is public land, and <clears throat> there is dispersed camping there. However, she said that during hunting season she strongly encourages people not to just go out and camp and, unless they're hunting and we are in deer season uh when we're while we were here yeah and these are some of the cabins that are in beaver's bend state park and we're used to texas state parks where there's one size fits all in the cabins these some of them are probably two or three bedrooms yes yeah. And beautiful, but these are all located in that first camping, that first entrance into the state park. Um, and that, we are here off season. Yes. And this being on a lake, there were a lot of things that weren't necessarily open or available. But this looks like it would be an awesome place for, if you have a lot of kids that you want to bring, bring them here in the summer and... Uh, there is zip lining and, and go karts and yeah. mini golf and canoe rental, paddle boat rental, a little train that they can ride, stables. Uh, while we're here, though, there's fly fishing. Yes, and um, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful um, to see all of the um, opportunities and the different different campgrounds. Fern is another campground. Uh, it's still in that first part where you come in the first entrance to the park you <coughs> came to. It is water and electric I believe for the most part and it's 50 amp on this side most of them. Yeah you if you uh, go to the Oklahoma State Parks uh, you can look and see but What's hard to see on the map they gave us and on the online maps, it's really not one continuous map. It is, it's just, yeah, it's one of those places where you have to get there, drive around, and see um, where, how spread out these, this is a huge state park. Yes, it is. And from the first entrance to the last, I'm guessing it's about five miles. Yes. 
and then each of those entrances you drive in about four miles to get to the camping loops inside of the state park one and this is the fly fishing area and one day when we were driving around there were people out there fly fishing um and perfect location it, it's just like we said it is a gorgeous state park um but one negative and we are showing you yes. there's there's a ton of positive yes <laughs> but we also want to let you know there is a negative and that was um when we're in an area like this, a place we've not been to before, I always do like to go and kind of scout out uh, where we're going to need to go. And the dump station is a place we're going to need to go on our way out. And see what kind of turns. It, if exactly. If we need to go somewhere and make a U-turn and yes. come back and hit it at a different angle, that kind of thing. And so the one that was over near the turkey circle and quail circle, that was where we were staying, um... We drove through, we found where the dump station was, drove up there, and it was cemented over. Yes. Marlena actually was driving at the time, and she told me she thought it was, and so she was right. I got out and looked, and it was just cement across there. And no way to remove it, no way to no. open it. Uh -uh. It was just shut. So we went down to the Stevens Gap area, which is the second entrance, because it's only about three and a half to get to the camping loop was only about three and a half miles right. off of the road. We went, we found their dump station, saw that it really was going to be a lot easier if we did go down, turn around, and came back and hit it at a different angle. And that's where this armadillo camping loop is, uh, is in the Stevens Gap area. And so we got out and looked, and I did move the cover to make sure that there really was an opening for right. a dump station. And there was. Well, between the time that we went and found that and the time we were leaving, uh, we'd had two nights of fairly heavy rain and one day of just kind of light drizzle. And so let's just say that when we got ready to leave, it was full. Yes. <laughs> uh, to, and so we got there and emptying our tanks, that was not an option. Now, this camping loop, which is where we were, the quail loop, Quail Circle. We, These, I would have sworn that ours was about one of the longest RVs that could fit in there. Uh, we had the circle to ourselves yes. for three nights. Then our last night, there were three large yes. travel trailers that had come in. I mean, we're talking 35 feet or so in length. And um, we neither one thought they'd make it, but... There were some tight turns yes. in there, and I got to tell you, they now the there's a center section there that they were pulling forward onto, um, and and they did a great job. But it was, and I'll be honest, we filmed with the windows up because it turned yes pretty cold. chilly. Yeah, we had some, uh, like I said, we had we got out and filmed on the day that we had sunshine, but uh, it still had some. Pretty cool weather. But there are pull-through sites. There are back-in sites. There and are cabins. Turkey Circle has bigger sites than quail. Yes. Yes, They're it together, does. together, but... Um, and then outside of the park, there are some cabins and RV resorts yes. if you want full hookups. Um, and so there are just a ton of options up in this area. But we want to tell you, everything inside of the park... Is gorgeous. Yes. I mean, it was uh, some of the prettiest scenery and scenic overlooks. And um, this is uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Not the week of Thanksgiving, but the week before Thanksgiving when we're here. And just absolutely gorgeous. This is just giving you some idea of the roads that go through this. There's not a road that connects all of the branches other than the main highway. You have to go out to it. But, everything inside of the park is beautiful and scenic and lovely. However, when you get outside the park, it is touristy. But, uh... There are Bigfoot things and all sorts of stuff like that. But we hope you've enjoyed our look at Beaver's Bend, Bend State, State park. park. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.